Yeah. I just ate an Oreo cookie in front of you. I would like to also give you an Oreo cookie. In fact, this year, I am even willing to deliver an Oreo cookie to you. But first, you have to learn the secret of the Oreo. I probably told you the secret of the Oreo when you were freshmen. You have probably forgotten it. You already kind of know it because we've talked about it, but we haven't called it that. So, pay attention. I will teach you today the secret of the Oreo. You will then use it and show me that you have learned it, and then you get an Oreo. So, the Oreo is a sandwich cookie, right? It has the, the cookie parts and the cream filling. You're using this Oreo to remind yourself how to handle something from a source, how to handle a quote or a paraphrase from somebody that you are using as a source. For example, Amy Tan and her essay, Mother Tongue. So, whenever you do that, you make an Oreo. The sandwich parts, the chocolate parts, are you, and the cream filling is the source. What do I mean by that? When you're going to use, let's say, a sentence from an essay, first, you need to introduce it. That's you. And that introduction can be as simple as saying something like, Tan says. That introduces the quote. Let's us know that one is coming. That's you. It can be more elaborate, too. For instance, when you were talking about Maya Angelou, some of you did um, pretty full introductions to the article that talked about it. In an essay talking about the effects of prejudice on young African Americans, so and so says, and then you quote. And you could even tell something about him, like what his position is. So, long or short, there's something, some kind of introduction that is you. Then there's a quote, right? Or a paraphrase, something from the source. That is the cream filling. When you're done with the quote or the paraphrase, you're not done yet. You still don't have the other part of the sandwich cookie. You don't have the other chocolate layer. We need you again. So what are you doing at the end? What is the other chocolate layer? That is some kind of comment. That is you telling us, what does this mean? Why does this matter? What am I expecting you to get out of this? What is the point of that quote? It is reinforcing it, interpreting it, twisting or spinning the way that the readers are going to take that quote. So you introduce it. Here's the quote. You comment on it. That's the Oreo. In your assignment, you're going to find a quote maybe in the essay Mother Tongue, maybe in something else that you have read or are reading that you would like to quote, and you're just going to write a short paragraph where you do some kind of introduction. You, you give us a quote, give me a quote, and then you comment. You again. You, source, you. That's the Oreo. Show me you can do it. You get an Oreo. I hope your week is off to a good start. God bless you.